Hello and welcome to Aquamist Wim. This is Aquamist Jen. I hope you're having a super day. Happy day to you, Hark. Uh, today's whim of the day is to show you the amazing progress that I made on cuffs and I've made five of them and I am in the progress of making several several more so all right so first one with snaps shazam and it fits snugly so I'm looking forward to sizing up a bit on the next round these are all roughly the same size and then I'm having difficulty talking and snapping at the same time. So they're really easy to put on. So, bam. So there is the first one. I'm not going to snap them all. And there is another one. Shazam. They are super fun. <laughs> and I use the most glamorous illustration tool ever on these. I uh, took a Sharpie to them and I'm in love with it actually so it works it's a permanent marker I think it's great pretty awesome so um there you go so there are several and hello kitty he knows it's video time so he has come over to hang out with us so hi bud so we're going to look at our awesome pretties today I even have some semblance of a nice view there. And uh, yeah, so those are super fun. Also made a bookmark. So basically <laughs> the same thing without the snap. And uh, I'm finding, I'm having one of those days where I'm sewing and then I have weird tension issues with my machine. So then I paused, watched some TV, Mandalorian, as a nerd does. And then I might try to jump back in, but it's basically I've just got, it just keeps sliding out of the, the tension circly thing on this because every machine is different even though they have the same principles but um, so yeah so I'm playing with it kitty says hi and uh, we'll see how that goes um, so play I've got different cuts of the same big piece of fabric so just different sizes that I have going on a little thready action there and so I've got a bunch of different sizes. So I went with little and big, little, little, big, big, um, just so I can have variety. So that's my thought process there, being able to accommodate um, several either wrist sizes or if you want to wear them as shawl, um, cuffs as well. You know, that's a good thing. I mean, you can wear them wherever you like, even if it's holding something together for you. Um, the, the point is that they are multifunctional. Um, and you can use them for multiple things, so, or you can just wear them around your wrist if you want to, so. Yay! I'm happy with them. They are super comfy and super fun, so, got some good feedback from people who were able to see them today, so, uh, check them out. So, that's really cool. I'm excited that, that you guys are excited about them, and I'm just gonna keep making them. So, um, they're coming together, um, fairly easy, besides the tension issues, so, um, and then as far as the part where I have to use the hammer to get the parts together, I, you know, making sure that I'm not doing that too late, um, in the night too, cause I don't want to be annoying to my neighbors. Um, so Kitty's just funny. He knows I'm making a video. So I do a pre, um, a pre video make sure that I'm in the shot thing sometimes I line it up well and then sometimes I like move the camera in the mi mi middle of it and then when I test it I just miss the fact that I've moved it so regardless of that you know I just uh, when I do the testing thing and I start talking at the camera he comes over and goes oh it's time for the video I'm just gonna sit with her so I don't know maybe he likes how I I sound when I'm talking to y'all but um, Sounds, sounds uh, cat-like, plus I play with string, so therefore it makes me more appealing because I'm his favorite person when I'm playing with string. So I've made some progress on the next uh, silly scarflet, and so I'm ready to do 
the first um, part of the hole. Um, so that's super exciting. And yeah, it's just, it's coming together and I'm excited. Kitty's excited. The kitty's always excited. And then I just really like the way that this yarn is coming out. So it has some different variations from the last one and it is super fun. And I, I was also reflecting on the fact that it matches my uh, glasses. So a fitting one for me to be carrying around and use as my sample. So how about that? So I have more stacks of fabric as one does when one is sewing. I just put them in pairs and then I set it so that the part that I want on the outside is the inside of the sandwich um, so that when I flip the fabric after doing the preliminary inside sew, um, then it's all good. It's got the most intriguing part outside. And I love that I'm able to create unique shapes with this because I'm using my zigzag stitch which creates such odd textures at the top. So, um, let's see, everyone is different. There is no uniformity there. So I'm in love with it. The perfectionist in me is really enjoying not having to be perfect with it. And I love that it creates um, anomaly anomalies <laughs> and makes it so that everything is different. The other part too, and I have to cut my ends, um, is that I'm leaving, you know, any of the s stitching snags are intriguing too. They all tell part of the story. So everything's left in there. I'm doing that on purpose. I'm being intentional with imperfection um, because it's healthy and also it adds flair and design. It creates this abstract work um, kind of theme with it and I'm in love with it. So. I'm proud of myself for doing it, even though it is fundamentally, I think, hard, but my my artistic sense in per <laughs> soul or whatever really likes likes the imperfection. Um, and then leaving, you know, the part that has the overlap and then have the other part just tucked in afterwards um, is intriguing for me too, that they don't match, that there are different feels to it. I mean, I could tuck this in, I could build it in a totally different way. Um, I could easily build it like I do, um, like I did for the, the pillow I'm sitting on, or, you know, other things where I'm kind of folding them both over, clipping them, but I've chosen to do kind of that method where I'm turning it inside out, um, and that creates, um, definitely a vulnerability to the shape um, and then also to the, the finished piece and so you know when you have um, just random colors and random things going on there and then you have randomness to the the shapes and you can see the journey that it took to get there um, that's kind of why I really like the zigzag machine because it's gonna get stuck on things that other machines won't so like for instance on this one, um, I think I had to pull out some, uh, this is one I had to pull out some stitchings because of my tension, um, but it, it got stuck on the same area both times. So I left part of those stitches initially and then because they were so intertwined with each other where it got stuck, um, there was no, no releasing it. So when I went through and I sewed again, um, after I took out the extra extraneous stitches that had the bad tension, it still got stuck in that area. It was fascinating. So, um, just leaving the, you know, the, the character pieces in there, um, is intriguing to me and I'm having fun with it. It's definitely adding a lot to the line and design to it for, for me. I'm hoping they're, they're coming across as more fun that way more relaxed, um, you know, and then adding the doodles. So deciding which side is the dominant side and which side's gonna be the underside. It's just kind of fun. So, you know, I'm liking the simplicity and the flexibility to be able to draw on them too. So I think that it's uh, quite an interesting step for me. I don't know that I could have gotten or had the same results here, had the same flexibility as I'm having now based off of my trajectory as an artist. So here I am and this is what I'm making.
How about that? So that's the whim of the day, talking about knitting and cuffs and bookmarks, because everybody needs more bookmarks. And I mean, just fun colors. And it's got such character to it. So I'm enjoying the process. Um, I'm having a better time with cutting up the fabric than I thought I would. And the bigger pieces, I have trouble cutting them. Like I'm going to have trouble cutting the one that's behind this tapestry when it becomes time. Just it's so hard to make those decisions. And I like the way it interacts with itself in a bigness and in a bigness and um, tells its own story. So it's interesting. I'm, I've am i spent enough time, I think, with the fabric. Maybe it's the long length of time that I've interacted with it that allows me to be able to feel more comfortable with being able to cut it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my progression as an artist. I'm trying to figure it, understand it as I go. Um, but that's the whim of the day. Fabric, cuffs, and knitting. And we'll see where the whim takes us tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. You're amazing. Have a good one.